Welcome to ATP Customs. I have a quiet week in the shop here before the weekend, so I thought I might pull my 95 Chevy Tahoe in and see if I can do a body lift without using hoist. I know it's not that difficult. I'm just hoping I don't get a bunch of bolts break on me while I'm doing it. So we have a zone three inch body lift I'm about to install in my 95 Tahoe. So I'll probably have it done by tomorrow, I'm hoping, but we'll see how it goes. I'll let you know. Well, I have all of the body bolts removed, and the only thing left to do is to create some slack in the transmission cable, which I have to remove the driver's seat to do. It's bolted down under the seat. I had three body bolts break on me. It wasn't the plan, considering this truck has sat indoors for at least 12 years. I thought it would be all of them might come out, but no, I got three broken body bolts as usual. That's why body lifts suck. But this particular kit, I'm very impressed with. The instructions are super clear. Uh, it, it is a super easy body lift to do. I just happen to have three broken bolts. So I'll put the body lift in and hopefully give me some room so I can get those bolts out with the torch. I'm hoping to just heat them up and bring them out, but that doesn't usually go as planned. Fingers crossed, keep on going. Well, I currently have a three inch body lift installed in this thing. If you just take your time, it's actually pretty nice and easy. I highly recommend spraying everything with fluid film. That has saved all the bumper bolts. Not one bumper bolt has broken on me. I have the new bumper brackets installed. You also get another bracket. Where is it? Right there, it raises up this one here so that it matches your other bumper brackets. You get two little drop brackets there to drop your transmission cooler. And then you get two more in the bottom. There's also two more that go on the inside to uh, drop your bottom radiator shroud. Then you get four spacers to space your shroud out. And that's basically the front end. The bumper bracket for the front coming with the body lift, you have to order the bumper brackets for the rear. They are separate. The shifter linkage, uh, apparently there's differences. This is a 95. So the shifter linkage actually just pulls through the floor. The, uh, the rubber boot that seals the floor came through. You gotta pop that back in. If you were doing an older one, there's all sorts of little extensions you gotta do. Oh yes, there is a little extension for the steering shaft, which wasn't bad to do at all. So there we go, we got a three inch body lift and I'm gonna have to let those bolts that broke on me soak all weekend. So I'm hoping Monday those will come out nicely. And that's uh, about all I have left to do is just get those three bolts on and bolt the rest of the lift in. Just the body bolts and we're done. Put the grill back in it and then we get to throw some 35s on. Those ones are going on Matt White's Bronco when we do a six inch lift next week. Those are Dick CPEC Extremes, 315 7017s. And I had these kicking around. These are a Turo Trailblade MTs, 35 by 1250 17s. So I'm gonna do a review in another video on these because I am getting a new set of tires for my Dodge Dually. So next week you will see the uh, plow truck, which is no longer a plow truck right now. If I bump the mirror. Next week it'll have 35s on it. And there you go, that's where I'm at right now. I'm almost done, was hoping to just have this done Thursday and Friday, just puttering away at it in my spare time, but I'd rather let the bolts soak than break them off and have to deal with all that. So I'll take my time and get it done properly and everything is going wonderful on it. Thank you for watching and thank you for supporting my channel. All of the new subscribers that have been clicking on that subscribe button, I really appreciate it. I am having an absolute blast filming and building for YouTube. So thanks for watching and I hope you keep on subscribing. I'll keep them coming.